Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm back with another um, video and I was cooking biryani and I thought to share the recipe with you all. So first step is to take two onions and saute it in a little bit of oil um, and then you will add ginger garlic paste and then mix it again, wait until the onion starts to change its color. So it should turn um, dark brown. It shouldn't be burnt, just change the color to dark brown. Once you're done, uh, you add two chopped tomatoes and Give it a good mix. What I like to do is I like to make sure that the tomatoes are soft before I put the meat in. Now these are the spices that I add in my biryani. Uh, I also add them in the in description below if you want. So after making sure the tomatoes are soft, um, I'm going to add the chicken. Once you have the meat in, make sure you can give it give a nice stir. Now once the chicken starts to change color, when it turns um, like light pink in color, um, I'm going to add in my spices. Now give it a good mix. So all the spices are fully mixed in with the chicken. You will add about a half a cup of yogurt, whipped yogurt. Um, cover and cook for about like 10 minutes and in the meanwhile I have another pot here full of water for the rice make sure to soak your rice for about 20 25 minutes um, I'll add salt in the water I'm getting another pot ready with water because uh, I am going to boil potatoes in it. Here I have added a little bit of salt and the orange color. Another thing that I do is I add mint, green chilies and cilantro in the uh, boiling water where I'm going to add rice. It just gives a nice taste 
and a nice smell to the rice. to the biryani masala now uh, make sure not to over boil the potatoes just make sure just just have them uh, half cooked Masala is ready. Uh, I'll just leave on and let it sit on stove on very low flame for about um, 10 minutes. Um, adding some, uh, some green chilies and coriander on top. Now here I have my rice ready and I'm just gonna uh, do layering. I just add two tablespoons of oil on the top with some coriander, green chilies, and some food color. Uh, spread it evenly and then leave it on them for about leave it on them for about 20 minutes. And that's it. Your biryani is ready to serve. This is after 30 minutes. The biryani is ready. I'm gonna serve it now and also uh, will be. Um, sharing it with my neighbors and friends so thank you so much guys for taking our time and watching my video if you have any questions regarding the recipe please leave a comment below and don't forget to uh, subscribe like and comment thank you so much take care